people that I have a suggestion, you know, uh, I know that we all are sitting in our own houses, but we should have a discipline when we are sitting in our house. You know, we know that we are not able to uh, gather together in our church, but even though you're sitting in your house, I have a request, everyone must be, be attentive, more attentive to the Lord. Because when we are singing songs, and when we are, I mean, uh, hearing the word of God, and when we are, I mean, uh, praying, when we are reading the Psalms, everyone must be attentive. You know, uh, there is no chance to, I mean, uh, speak, I mean, uh, each, each other, or, uh, I mean, uh, doing something else, and uh, uh, just joining uh, into the Zoom calling uh, after the 10 o'clock. So you must be joined before 10 o'clock. And after that, uh, you should not uh, do that because uh, it, is, it is making an interruption uh, to the other people. So you must be so attentive because we know that the presence of God is there in our midst wherever we are sitting. Hallelujah. So we are not sitting in a, in a church and we are sitting in our own houses, but we must be knowing that the presence of God is there in our, in our midst. So we have to respect the presence of God. We have to have the discipline in the presence of God when we are coming towards I mean, towards the I mean, word of God. So this morning, let us sit in the presence of God with a prayerful attitude. And, and I greet every one of you in the master's name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we have a, a, a dear pastor, Rufus George, with us this morning. You know, uh, he, although he is a, he's a, uh, uh, the, he is accepted by uh, the pastor of uh, the Sharon Fellowship Church, but at the same time, he requested, me, he requested to me that, uh, uh, Pastor, you should not uh, introduce me as a pastor. I'm an evangelist. So anyway, evangelist or, uh, I mean, pastor, there is no problem at all. But uh, we are going to hear the word of God. I mean, he, he may be known to you all, uh, some of you. Maybe, I mean, I think he visited uh, our church uh, uh, maybe uh, three or four years before, I believe. Uh, I'm not exactly, I, I don't know about that. But I know that uh, he already uh, visited our church once and he preached in our church and he's a good preacher and he's a good, uh, I mean, evangelist. And uh, at present he is in, uh, uh, he's in New York. I mean, uh, he is basically from Delhi, uh, India, and uh, at present he is in New York. So uh, it's a great privilege to uh, have Pastor uh, Rufus and jo Rufus George with us. And uh, actually uh, his father-in-law is, uh, I mean, uh, my uh, childhood friend and we live there together in uh, in Kerala and uh, we are so close friends and uh, through him only I came to know that uh, Pastor Rufus is in ministry and uh, we have we, we had a chance to attend for uh, their uh, for their wedding in Kerala also so I'm so thankful to God for uh, sending his servant you know most this morning to preach the word of God let's all I mean put our hands together and praise the name of the Lord and welcome uh, Pastor uh, Rufus George in our midst. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor, for introducing me. It's a great blessing. God bless you. Amen. As Pastor told, told you guys that I visited you like four years back, I believe. Uh, I think that time Pastor George Alexander was the pastor of your church. Uh, I do remember the time. And that was the time that, that God has blessed me to come in California and stay there for a pretty long time with the pastor and I, Philip. And whenever, whenever that day is rem reminds me, uh, every time when I, uh, when I went back to India, the first thing that I heard from my loving ones that you made a blunt of mistake. Now I would like to share why everyone said that. When I came to California as a minister, I got an opportunity to serve the Lord and to take care of a church there. And while I was praying, God didn't guide me to take the charge of the church. The guidance was to go back to India and serve the Lord as of now. And when I shared this thing with my loving ones uh, who cared, who cared for me, who loves me, who guided me, everyone said, Rufus, you're making a big mistake by refusing this chance. You know, if you stay here, it would, it's going to be a great, great, great blessing. But I was, I was, I was so disturbed that time. And you know what? The day I went back, the day I stepped in Kerala to meet my loving ones, the first statement that I heard, Rufus, you made a big mistake. But let me tell you one thing. 
if you if you are ready to listen the word of god if you are ready to listen my god is going to make a mistake into a blessing amen and that is the blessing that i am here today with you people today once again so thank you pastor uncle for introducing me thank you church for inviting me to give the word as i am here actually i came here for some meetings in dallas and houston but because of covid 19 uh, i got stuck back here and uh, right now i'm 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 here in new york by the grace of god i still i believe that it was a plan of god that he uh, he had a purpose you know for everything nothing happens in our life for some worries it all happens for the good and i believe that god has the same plan for me too and by the grace of god throughout this two and a half months god has been helping us to take the bible studies to to engage the youth to engage many people surrounding here and we go through many zoom zoom meetings praise god so for for everything there is a god's plan so i, I don't want to as uh, i'm not a person who introduce myself lord as i'm here to to share from the word of god let's directly go to the word it i would like to share the word today from joshua chapter 24 verses 15 joshua chapter 24 verses 15 i know this word is very very familiar for uh people because most of the time we do share this word in our place right especially if, especially uh in our testimony we do share this particular word especially the last especially the last verses we say that but as for me and my family we will serve the lord i would like i, I would love to read the the whole uh, verses joshua chapter 24 verses 15 but if you refuse to serve the lord then choose today just to receive so beyond the phrase or will it be the god of the amorites in whose land you now live but as for me and my family we will serve the lord today the, the theme of the my message that god was guided me to preach is what can we do to reshape god's pattern for the home as we all are staying at home these days we all are like stuck at, at our places god really want us, us to take a reshape to bring god's pattern in our home amen god has god has helped each and every one of us to go together to to hang out with the church to go to the church and to serve the lord but most of the time what happened we used to go to church we used to have a gathering we used to have a worship session and everything in church but my god want that church to turn into your in your in, in, into your houses amen we might have missed the churches from our house amen so as the pastor uncle asked me rufus can you give me on which topic you are going to give the message the from 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 the time onwards that he he called me to uh, to be in the midst of you people i was praying god what should be the message that you want me to share there the th- the thought that came to my mind is what can we do to reinitiate god's pattern for the how for our houses we all say that we have god in our house we have the presence of the lord in our house we have the holy spirit who guides us it is true but today my question is have you ever make our houses have you ever given the chance to god to make our house as his own house amen have you ever made a, have have you have you ever allowed god to take over our house as his house first question second question that i'm going to ask you today have you ever welcomed the presence of the lord we you all say that yes i do because we have worship we, we we do pray we do do everything as the word says but when i when god has given me the verses from second samuels i will be into that verses 
my question is have you ever kya aap logon ne kya hum logon ne apni zindagi karne ke liye have you ever have you ever welcomed the presence of the lord kya parmeshwar ki jo saubhagyata ko swikar karne have you ever welcomed the presence of the lord amen and the third question is do we have the ark of salvation in our place yes we all got saved we all had the salvation in our hand but do we have the ark of salvation in our place it's a great joy it's a great joy that when god gave me this verses i i started to note it down so my let's i would love to start with the zoom meeting itself amen we have a host here i think today's host is eternal life church of god uh we have uh, participants here i believe we have around 22 participants in here 22 devices are here the host i was i was i was like looking at every videos and that, the, i think i think this is one of the few zoom meeting that i'm attending where every cameras are on right most of the time what happens every device is connected but the videos are off you know the host of this meeting or the pastor of this church would love to see each and every one of us even through the zoom you know the developer who has created the app this application or zoom application the thought in his mind was to bring people from different part of the world to into the one screen where they can share the thought where they can share the emotions where they can share the perspectives and everything to each other whether they whether they are from different culture whether they are from different diversity doesn't matter the developer who created this application the thought was in thought was he had to bring everyone in one screen amen and along with the thought he gave two options one you can connect your device to the meeting but you will have two options it's completely up to you if you want to mute your your mic you can if you want to unmute your mic you can if you want to stop sharing your video you can if you want to show yourself to the host you can amen that was the two options that god has given it don't you think that it is something similar to some something which has happened in the garden of eden god created adam and eve with the perspective that god has for him amen god loved to see both of them every day god used to visit them every another time every evening why because he loved them a lot in the similar way 2020 years back he sent his loving son for each one of us you know why he sent why why he allowed his son to be crucified because he want each one of us to come into the presence of the lord to bring you and me in that screen the screen called the love of god he loved to see us he loved to talk to us he loved to share our emotions he loved to talk, he loved to give the prophecies it is true we all used to go to church that is true that is a fact we all used to give the tithe that is a fact we all used to support pastors that is a truth everything is true but my question are we were were we available for the lord 24 into 7 when our god want to see you and me in his presence we say that god i'm connected but i cannot come in front of my camera god i'm connected but i cannot unmute my system isn't it we used to say this thing 
by giving tithe, by, by, by attending a prayer meeting, by attending the sermon, by attending Holy Communion, we were connected. Our devices were connected. But my God doesn't want you to be just connected. He wants to see us. Amen. Amen. As Pastor just told me, right, just, just shared before the message. There is a decorum to sit in the meeting. Amen. There is a discipline to sit in the meeting. See, that is why most of us never want to come in front of camera, even, even after we are, con we are connected with the device. When we sit in, the in, in front of the device, you know what happened? Lord, God, God will always tell you, Rufus, you are somewhere mistake here. Come on, correct it. Rufus, you are going out of the path. Come on, come back. This is the thing we always say is that I don't want to turn on my camera. Amen. Amen. I believe today, you know, today you might be seeing me with the uh, short hair. To be very frank, this is my first time in my 28, 29 years that I did this thing. Because there is no other option. There is only, there is only one you know, beard trim or take, take off the hair. You know, why I did that? I want to share that thing too. You know, why I did that? I was the person who used to like tell my sister, who used to tell my father and everyone. They used to tell me, Rufus, Prince, come on, cut your hair. It's, it, it, it's pretty long. Even my father-in-law, he said, Rufus, you should cut your hair. I was like, no, I will cut my hair when the shops will be open. But you know what? I was giving the message. I was like sharing the word of God to people through the Zoom. People were only seeing me from here to here. And people started to judge me with the long, because I have a long hair. It is not their fault. It is not their fault because they're only seeing me this. Right? And what happened? One day I was like, God, should I take my hair off? You know, then, then it started to affect my ministry, which was a gift of God, which is a gift of God. I never want to lose it. Hey man, if I take off my hair, it will grow back. No worries. If I lose my ministry, it will not come back to me. Remember, the love of Christ is following you. The love of Christ would love to see each one of your face. He would love to see. He would love to hear your voice. But are we available? Yes, I am connected to the device. Yes, I am connected to the password. Yes, I am connected to the meeting. I have an ID. What is the ID? I am a member of Eternal Life Church of God. True. I have a password. Yes, I can go to the church every time. Nobody will stop me. But question, how dare you to turn on your camera? How dare to turn on your mic? That is the question. You know, I'm coming back to the message. The word says here, <clears throat> Joshua chapter 24, you have to read very carefully there. You have to read very carefully there. The jo Joshua chapter 24 verses 15, it says, but if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Here we are getting an option whether we want to serve the Lord or not. You know, whether you and me want to do the worship. Amen. And he's giving an another option there. Would you prefer the God of your ancestor who served beyond the efforts, or will it be the God of the Amorites in whose land you now? We think that God is asking this question, who Joshua asked for a big trouble, after a big mess up. No, God asked this question after blessing him, after giving him the victory. Amen. It says, it is, it is clearly said in verses 12, you know, I was, uh, and I sent terror ahead of, ahead of you to drive out the two kings of Amorites. It was not your sword or bows that brought you victory. I gave you land that 
had not worked on i gave you town you did not build the town where you are now living i gave you vineyards and olive groves for food through you did not plan everything he blessed them with everything after that he is giving them an option whom do you want to serve don't think that my god will put you in some trouble and then he will say now you want to serve you want to choose no god is always there to bless you god is always there to protect you he is the provider he is the one who heals you everything he will do for you because he loved the entire world my god he doesn't only love the one who save him he loved the entire world but he is giving you and me and you an option who do you want to serve today amen it is not fair that god i have been praying for you it's true my loving one who over listening me parmeshwar meri temathiri seva me rahta hu deva me janne sanadhi na kadandu vandu konde irikkunu that is true but my dear one today are you ready to reinitiate to bring the pattern of god into your houses amen forget about the church forget about the public appearance forget about the public thing that we do to show forget about all those things right now everyone 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 who has joined this meeting is at your place isn't it isn't it everyone is in your house think about one thing have you ever given the lord to take your house as his one his house നമ്മുടെ ഭവനം ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഭവനമാക്കി തീർക്കാൻ വിട്ടുകൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടോ ക്യാമേശ്വരം bring our house as is one let's read chapter do it a book uh, deuteronomy book of deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 to 9 i will read it here how we can allow our house to be god's house it's very simple deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 to 9 i'm reading it here listen o israel the lord is our god the lord alone you must love the lord your god with all your heart all your soul all your strength the first thing very simple how can we give the authority how can we give our house to be to in, into the hands of the lord very simple just love the lord with all your heart with all your soul with all your strength amen with all your soul and all your strength and how this thing can be practical in our house amen that is the next verses i would love i would appreciate if you give a bit of you know just concentrate on verses 6 and 7 you must commit yourself wholeheartedly to these commands that i am giving you today amen amen that giving you today repeat them again and again to your children amen very simple repeat them wow i love that word sir impress them on your children how can you, how can we impress them how can we impress our children with the command when the lord has given you and me very next verse talk about them when you sit at home we till irikkumbol amen i am asking you a very logical question 
Is it possible for you and me to talk about the commandments of Lord every time? Otherwise, 24 into 7 when we are sitting at home. Is it, is it possible? If you and me come constantly talking about them, like, do not sin, do not do, do not do this, do not do that, do not do this. Let me tell you one thing very clearly. Our kids will be like tired of it. They will be like, Papa, please stop it. We have been hearing about this thing for last so many years. The word which has, I, I really love the translation. I don't know which translation which we have displayed on screen. Impress them. How can you impress? How can you impress them then? Can you just put that on the screen? Thank you so much. Talk about them when you sit at home. The way you sit, the way you behave, the way you talk to your wife, the way you talk to your kids, the way you talk to each other, the way you talk to your pastor, the way you talk to your parents, impress them. Not by preaching. The time of preaching has already done. The time of sharing the gospel is done. Now behave the way that God wants you and me to behave. I believe this behavior will bring the presence of the Lord and the Lord will take care of your house. Amen. Simple. At home, when you walk along the road, Amen. When you lie down, when you're on your bed, show the love of Christ. Amen. And when you get up, very simple, right? How can we give our house in the hands of the Lord? Now just analyze you and your family. Just analyze about your houses. Do we talk about the Lord when we sit at home? Not through the word, but through the actions. Amen. But through the actions. Are we talking about the word of God when we walk along the road? Are we talking about the word of God? Not through the word, but through the actions. When you lie down, are we doing that? When we get up. Can you take the another words, the next word, verses 8? Tie them to your hand and wear them on your forehead as a reminder. Amen. Tie them to your hand and wear them on your forehead as a reminder. Them on your forehead. Write them on the four door frames of your houses and your gates. Simple. It's very simple. How can you and me give our house as God's house? You know, Joshua accepted this formula first. Then he said, God, I am ready to serve you and my family will serve too. Amen. He accepted the blessing. He accepted the option. And then he decided, yes, I will do what the word is commanding me and I am going to serve the Lord the, the way you want me to. Amen. Today or yesterday night, we might have something at home. We might have gone through some struggles. It's okay. God is giving you another chance. Another, another option. Are you ready to give the house into, into the hands of the Lord? Amen. I am sure that God guided me to take this particular verses, not for some, some, something very silly. I believe today I'm not talking to one person here. Today I'm talking to the houses. Today I'm talking to each and every member, each and every devices which is connected here. Amen. How can we make our house as Lord's house? Very simple. Just, just, just give us trust on that word once again from 4 to 9. O ye all Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. These commandments 
that I gave you today are to be on your heart. We all have that commandments in our heart, right? We all do carry that commandments with us, right? But don't forget the word. And the next word says, impress them on your children. Impress them on your children. Not preach, impress. How can you impress? By the work, by the action. Talk about them when you sit at home. It is true that when we, we talk about them when we go to church. It is true that when we, go to, when, when, when we go to a meeting, we talk about it. True. No. When you are at home, when you are sitting at home, when you are doing nothing, talk about that. How can you talk? Through your actions. Amen. When you walk along the road, when you lie down, when you get up, tie them as a simple and on your hands and bind them on your forehead. Write them on the door frames of your house, on and on your gates. Take this as a challenge. I believe this quarantine, this pandemic situation, this uncertain situation is going to be a blessing for each and every one of us. Amen. Amen. This is, this, this is, see, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've been, we've been listening about pandemic. You know, we were, we were in every prayer. We are praying about God. Just take this COVID-19. You know, we all are praying only for that. But have you ever thought why God has put you and me into this situation? To bring back, to tie back the Lord's house. Amen. The second point that I want to share is welcome his presence to your house. Welcome his presence to your house. I know the word that we are going to take right now, which is very familiar for you and me. It's from 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 9 to 11. 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 9 to 11. I would love to read it here. David was now afraid of the Lord and he asked, how can I ever bring the ark of the Lord back to my prayer? So David decided not to move the ark of the Lord into the city of David. Instead, he took it to the house of Abedidom of God. Amen. The ark of the Lord remained there in Abedidom house for three months. And the Lord blessed Abedidom and his entire household. This is, a, this is another familiar verse that we always repeat, right? That the ark of, if the ark of the Lord is in your place, you will be blessed. As God has blessed Obed Edom when he kept the ark of the Lord at his place for three months. But my question is, he only kept that ark for three months and God blessed him for generations and generations. But we've been keeping that ark at our home for generations and generations. But are we blessed? It's a doubt, right? But are we really feeling the presence of the Lord? It's the doubt. You know, why God blessed Obed Edom and his household? The question. He didn't accept. He was, he didn't just accept the art of the Lord. Rather, he accepted the presence which was carried by the art of the Lord. Amen. Usne sirap parmeshwar ki sandhu ki स्वीकार नहीं करा उसने क्या करा उसने परमेश्वर की संदूक संदूक में जो उसकी सौभाग्यता है the presence उसने उस चीज को स्वीकार करा है amen another question I'm just putting you up because it's a zoom meeting you know it's not a it's it's not a church that we can directly contact and this is that that's that's why I'm just in in, in between I'm just putting some questions what were the three things which were there in the ark of the Lord? What were the three things which was there in the ark of the God? We may know, we may not know. But we know that there was the ark of the God. That is true. But we don't know what was in it. There were three things in it. The first one, the two stone tablets. Amen. Second one, a jar of manna. Third one, Aaron's budding star. Amen. Parmeshwar ki niyam likhi gai 
दो फत्ते और एक छोटा सा जार में जो परमेश्वर की प्रोविजन था मन्ना जो इसराइलियों के लिए दिया गया था इट वॉज देर एंड दर्ड वन आयरन की क्या लाठी मैन देर वर थ्री थिंग्स इन दैट आर्क वी ऑलवेज से इज दैट हैव यू हैव यू एवर लर्न अबाउट द साइज ऑफ द आर्क it was not big as a house it was very small right it was not big thing it was very small which can be given which we can keep in the house right how many of you have the ark of god in your place i believe i do have amen i think we all have maybe we we may have 10 ark of god at our place right we have different translations we have different versions but still my question is have you ever realized three things which this ark does have in it the first one the two stone tablets of the law given to moses obeyed him he didn't receive he didn't accept a box which we call as ark he accepted what is in it yehova yude neema pettagathe alla neema pettagathinagathulladineyana obeyed him endu edathu swigarichana that is why the word says i i blessed them you know when he accepted the word when he accepted the ark of the lord what ark of the god you know what 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 was happening there he accepted the law which was given to the moses amen the law which was given to moses let me tell you one thing obey the homes house brought blessing you know how the ark of god reminded them daily of god's presence whenever they looked at that ark the goodness of israel goodness of god to israel it reminded obedient on about this thing when whenever he sees it amen and his faithfulness his promise his covenant the power and the glory which this ark was containing you know this, this this ark used to take in it amen whenever we see the word of god we says that kartave innu nan whenever we are in some trouble we open the bible and the bible directly says that i am going to destroy israel so i am going to destroy uh, what uh, some of the other city we always automatically what we do we just turn out you know we just close the bible and we go to next verses then it's it will be like another words which is coming to you and me i am going to put uh, bring the fire on the nation oh my god this is not a words for me we just go to the next verses we the next verses will be like i am going to bless you mightily this is the promise of the lord oh god this is the prophecy that i caught amen ark of the god doesn't you know it does contain the first thing obeyed on accepted is god's word in our house by accepting the ark he accepted the god's word amen second thing a jar of manna from israel's wilderness one train what was that it represent god's provision how many of you have god's provision in our house amen we easily can raise our hands and say yes i have everything which is provided by god but let me ask you one thing very frankly everything that we have is a god's provision it's a question right every dress that you and me are wearing is a provision of god everything there are people who does have there are some which is our greediness which we bought for our satisfaction is that a god's provision 
क्या वो परमेश्वर की इच्छा थी Amen. You know what happened to Israel? God told them that the manna that I'm giving you, pick what you want for today, not for tomorrow. There was clever people in 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 the midst of the Israelites, like us. What did what they what they do? They did the just just opposite to what God has commanded. They pick up my loving ones. The jar of manna always reminded. Obeyed them about the provision of God. He had options to bring other blessings. He had options to get more money. He had options about over time. He had options for more and more materialistic blessings that he can earn. What do you think that David allowed to bring this ark of God to obey them selves? I believe David would might have offered him too. hey i am i want you to keep this at your place i will give you some extra money i would be like oh god i'm i'm getting half of god along with that i'm getting some extra money i will be so happy yes god has blessed me god has provided me that is not a provision of god when we look into the eyes of the lord he is the one who provides for you and me accept what is the provision that we get from god are you ready for that amen amen what is the provision the provision is god gives you to leave what you need for today amen the third thing adam's budding staff god ordained leadership in our house how many of you us accept this particular thing that we have god ordained leadership god sometimes sometimes what happen we do listen to the god's word we do listen to the prophecies we do listen to the commandments that god has given me later on we says that it is true but to live in this world i just have to go this way my dear one whoever listening me have you ever have you ever noticed that that we are giving importance to the god or the authorities or leadership what is what does the third thing what does the third thing mentions here which was in the ark of god was aaron's budding staff which means god ordained leadership in obededom's house they focused on these three things not on the box right right few days back a uh, few days back one 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 guy asked me rufus sir Uh, can you just suggest me which is the best bible that i can buy you know you know what i said i said hey guy uh, there is a hebrew and greek bible which cost around 7000 to 8000 rupees you can buy that he is like no 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 i don't want that costly see then i asked him why did you ask me this question he said i want some good translation i want some you know i want i want that translation which can help me to understand the word better i said yes the suggestion that i gave you which which can give you some good knowledge about the word it's true similarly most of us are like going after the translations most of us are going after good theologians but we have a great theology in our hand that is the word of god it is it is it is the ordained leadership that god has given for you and me go through it go through it accept when you accept these three things first thing the stones of the law which was given to the moses second the jar of manna which was the provision of god third the the budding star which was the god ordained leadership you know what happened that has changed the destiny of obed edom's house and his household for generations and generation and they are still blessed how can you welcome the presence of the lord you cannot welcome the presence of the lord by giving money you cannot welcome the presence of the lord by supporting some other ministry and saying yes i'm doing this thing no welcome the ark of the lord and welcome what is written in it and accept what is in it this is how god can help you amen amen the third thing 
how can the, I'm, I'm going to the third point. Amen. The third point, build an ark of salvation in your home. How many of us have, have the ark of salvation in our home? With all due respect, actually I have a message from, uh, I already got a message from pastor that I can take if God guides me. Uh, so I'm taking a few more minutes, Pastor Uncle. Actually, my time is like about to end in three minutes, I believe. Thank you so much. God bless. With, 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 with respect, I'm taking some more time. All right. Build an ark of salvation in your house. How can you and me build the ark of salvation? Let's read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. Very simple verse. You know, most of the time we people think that word of God is so complicated. It is not. It is very simple if you read the way the God is one. God wants us to understand it. Can you just turn the word? Hebrew chapter. Eleven verses seven. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear, just, just, just focus on the word, not through the Holy Spirit, holy fear. We all have Holy Spirit, right? But how many of us holy fear? Amen. This is a big question that comes to our mind. We all have Holy Spirit. When we worship, we, we speak in tongue. When we do some of the other actions, we have such things. But my question, do we have holy fear? Do we have that? Amen. Amen. He built the ark of salvation with the Holy Spirit, the Pavitra Bhaya Purvak apne parivar ko bachane ke liye ek nav ki nirman kiya tha. He didn't buy, he didn't build the ark, ark to save the whole entire world. God asked him to preach about it. God asked him to do what I am commanding you. But don't forget, by building this ark, I'm going to save your family. In this pandemic situation, my God is giving you a command. If you and me are ready to build the ark of salvation with the holy fear, my God is going to save you and your family. You and your household. How many of you believe that? Amen. How many of you believe that, yes, my God is going to save me and my family? We have, we have, uh, I believe, I, will, I believe we, we just have to use this gadget. We have thumbs up sign, right? Just, 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 just believe and show the support that my, I believe that my God is going to save me and my family when I'm ready to save it. Praise God. You can, you can, you can. If, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's not, it's not practical for all of us to, uh, raise our hand in, in the camera. Amen. What the word says. Can you just put the word back? Can you just display the word back? Thank you so much. He built the ark with the holy fear. And what was the result? By his faith, he condemned the world and became the heir of the righteousness. That is in keeping with faith. We all have been hearing about the second coming of Father, our Christ. But have you ever seen that? We all are seeing the symbols. But have you ever experienced the second coming of Christ? No, right? But are you ready to? Do you want to see that? Do you want to experience that? The first thing that my God is asking, save your family. Save your house. How? Build an ark of salvation. Not through, with the Holy Spirit, with the holy fear, my God will help each and every one of us. Praise God. Three points that God has given me. 
what can we do to reinitiate God's pattern for your house? Choose to make your home his home. Welcome the presence of the Lord into your home and build an ark of salvation. Amen. Amen. No one can save your family. Only you and your, your, your life can save it. Pastor cannot take the guarantee of yours. I cannot take off, take any guarantee of yours. My God is there to take the guarantee. Are we ready for that? Are we ready for that? You know, there is a so small phrase that when I read about this thing, when I was studying about this thing, I got, which touched my heart. Exalt God in your home. Parmeshwar ki aradhana tumare ghar mein hoye. Example, Christ likeness in your home. Parmeshwar ki tarah apne gharo mein basse. Encourage faithfulness in your ho ho home. Parmeshwar ke liye ek, ek aisa encouragement ek pavitra zindagi, ek vishwaas zindagi ko jine ke liye ek encouragement apne gharo mein kare. Educate your children in God's way in your home. How can we educate our children? Amen. Educate our children. Amen. Last one. Establish godly values in your home. How can we establish the godly values in our home? Simple. Let's talk about them when you sit. Not through the word, through the action. When you walk, when you sleep, when you wake up, when you go out, when you shake your hands, when you get into your business, when you work, wherever you are, establish godly values. Amen. How many of you believe in the word that wherever you go, I will give you that land? How many of you believe that promise? Wherever you step, I'm going to believe, I'm going to give you that land. We all, we all say that, yes, God, I believe in that word. Is it practical for you and me to preach wherever you and me go? No, right? But it is practical for you and me to live the way God wants us to live. When you and me live according to it, when you, you and me walk according to it, when we raise our hands and say, hi, how are you? They will see the love of Christ in us. When we shake our hands with them, they will feel the presence of the Lord. When we, when we say, hey, you okay? They will find the peace that God has given us through us. We don't have to say that, oh, sister, I'm going to pray for you from today onwards. When you say, God, Jesus loves you, she will be healed. Her sins will be forgiven because we have that authority. I just want to close my message by reading one more verses. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 10. 1 verses 9 and 10. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 9 and 10. That word just came to my mind all of a sudden. That was not, I, that, that word, I was not prepared for that. What the word says is, is like this. God has now revealed us the mystery plan, mysterious plan regarding Christ, a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure. What was the plan of Christ, mysterious plan for us and you and me to become like Christ? Most of us think that mysterious plan of God about you and me is to raise the eternal life. No, to become like Christ. If you and me become like Christ, we will automatically go there to reach eternal life. Next verse. And this is the plan. At the right time, he will bring everything together under the authority of Christ. Everything in heaven and on the earth. Everything which, is, which, which we are going through right now. This is about the plan that God has placed. To br bring everything on the heaven and on the earth to come closer. How many of you believe this? This pantomime is a plan of God. Amen. This uncertainty is a plan of God to bring everything under the authority of Christ. May the Lord bless you. I believe from today onwards, we will take the initiative 
to bring our house into the presence of the Lord. This pandemic is going to be a blessing. This uncertainty is going to be a blessing. Just forget about the negativities that is coming around you. Only focus on the Lord. Only focus on the word of God. May the Lord bless you. Remember me in your prayer. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Rufus, for your uh, uh, relevant message. It was, it was amazing. And uh, it was actually a relevant message. You know, uh, we have been hearing the word of God. And we, we would like to pray for you and uh, for your ministry. And uh, uh, we, first of all, let's all uh, surrender our life to the presence of God according to the word of God. Let's meditate the word of God. Hallelujah. Let's all close our eyes in the presence of God. And uh, after that, uh, I mean, I request uh, Reggie, brother, is going to I mean, lead us in prayer now. Uh, let us all surrender our life. And we are going to pray for the, uh, the servant of God who is doing the ministry in different parts of the world. And uh, let's pray for his ministry and his family. And he is uh, blessed with uh, a small kid. And let's pray for their family also. And uh, we are going to surrender our life to the presence of God according to the word of God. We spoke to us this morning. Hallelujah. Let's all close our eyes in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us all I mean, reinstate the, the, the presence of God in our homes. Hallelujah. And he was asking some questions to uh, the people of God this morning. Hallelujah. The question like, uh, are we available? I mean, God always. Are we available to God always? Hallelujah. So let us love the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our strength. Hallelujah. Let us impress the word of the Lord. I mean, to our children when they sit and when they walk and when they lie down and when they get up and when they, I mean, let us tie them on our on our hands and let them let them not be away from His. Hallelujah. So let us, I mean, tie them, tie the word of God, I mean, in, in our hands and bind them on our forehead. Hallelujah. So let us, I mean, welcome the presence of God into our houses. Hallelujah. So and the second question is, do we have the ark of the Lord, I mean, inside our house? Hallelujah. That's a, that's a beautiful question that is, I mean, God is asking to us this morning that, hallelujah, do we have the, the ark of the Lord inside our God, inside our house? Hallelujah. And God blessed the, the house of Obededo only because of the ark of the Lord was in his house. Hallelujah. And the third question, do we have the holy fear in our life? Hallelujah. Most of the time, we do not have that I mean, holy fear. We, we may be knowing that. We may be saying that we have the holy spirit in us but uh, most of the time uh, we are not having the holy fear in our christian life hallelujah so this is the question that uh, let us build an ark of salvation in our life hallelujah let us build an ark of salvation in our life and personal life and also in our family life hallelujah let us know the ultimate plan of god hallelujah no in the in the in the previous i mean friday when we were taking the classes you know we were hearing that uh, i mean i mean by faith by the holy faith uh, i mean noah took a decision that uh, i'm going to build an ark for the salvation of their family hallelujah so this is the time that uh, when god God is asking something to the people of God. We should be submitted in the hands of God. We must be available in the hands of God. Hallelujah. Wow. If we are not available in the hands of God, God cannot use you and me for the expansion of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So this is the time to, I mean, I mean, hallelujah. This is the time to surrender. Also be the mighty hand of God. Let's remember the questions that the servant of God was asking to us, hallelujah, this morning. Let us initiate, I mean, initiate, the reinitiate the presence of God, the pattern of God, the plan of God in our own homes, in our own personal life. Hallelujah. So may God bless you, I mean, this, through these words, and I mean, let's pray for your uh, servant of God and their family and their ministry, and also let's submit also with the mighty hand of God, according to the word of God. I request Brother Reggie to lead us in prayer now. Hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. You. Stotram, stotram, stotram. Thank hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah.
നന്ദിയോടുന്ന സ്തോത്രം 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 മഹാപരിശുദ്ധനായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ദൈവമേ സൃഗസ്ഥനായ നല്ല പിതാവേ മനോഹരമായ ദിവസത്തിന്റെ ദൈവമേ രാവിലെ കാലത്തിനായ ഞങ്ങൾ നന്ദിയോടുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടി ഒരു വിശുദ്ധ സഭായോഗമായി വിവിധ ഭവനങ്ങളാണെങ്കിലും കർത്താവെ ഒരുമിച്ച് അങ്ങയുടെ സന്നിധാനത്തില് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ മാസത്തിന്റെ അവസാന ദിവസത്തിൽ കൂടി ഒരു വാദകോണം പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ച അവിടുത്തെ വലിയ കൃപകളെ ഓർത്ത് നന്ദിയോട് ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരുമിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവിനെ സ്തുതിക്കുകയും വാഴ്ത്തുകയും വന്ദിക്കുകയും ആരാധിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവ് എന്നിന്റെ സന്നിധാനത്തിൽ കൂടി വന്ന സമയം മുതൽ ഇത്രത്തോളം ദൈവ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിന്റെ മറവിൽ തിരുമേനി ഞങ്ങൾ ഇരുത്തിയല്ലോ കർത്താവെ അല്ലല്ലു ഈ ദൈവത്തിന് എല്ലാ കൃപകളെ ഓർത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരുമിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കർത്താവിനെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവ് നല്ല പാട്ടുകൾ പാടുവാൻ കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ചില്ല കർത്താവെ കഴിഞ്ഞൊരു മാസം മുഴുവൻ ഞങ്ങളെ അത്ഭുതരമായി വിവിധങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങളെ നടത്തിയല്ലോ അവിടുത്തെ എല്ലാ ഉപകാരങ്ങൾക്കായി ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരുമിച്ച് ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഇന്ന് പകൽ കാലിന്റെ വചനത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആഴമായി ഗ്രഹിക്കുവാൻ കർത്താവിന്റെ മകളിലൂടെ കേൾപ്പിച്ച നല്ല വചനങ്ങൾക്കായി ക്രൈസ്തലോ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങനെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആവശ്യമായ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ വചനമാണുള്ളത് ഞങ്ങൾ കേൾക്കുന്നത് അത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ സംഗ്രഹിച്ച് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഓരോ ദിവസമുള്ള ദൈവമേ ക്രിസ്തീയ ജീവിതത്തിൽ കർത്താവെ ആമീൻ ആത്മീയ ജീവിതത്തിൽ കർത്താവെ അത് കർത്താവിന് മഹത്വം അങ്ങേക്ക് മഹത്വത്തിനാക്കി തീർക്കുവാൻ തക്ക വണ്ണം അങ്ങനെ നാമത്തിന് മഹത്വത്തിന് തക്കവണ്ണം ജീവിപ്പാൻ തക്ക ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുന്നു ദൈവത്തോടെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഞാനും എന്റെ കുടുംബമോ ഞങ്ങൾ ഹോവിയെ സേവിക്കുമെന്ന് കർത്താവെ പറയത്തക്ക വണ്ണം ഞങ്ങൾ ഓരോ കുടുംബങ്ങളും ദൈവ സാന്നിധ്യം അനുഭവിക്കുവാൻ ദൈവ വചന പ്രകാരം ജീവിക്കുന്നവരായിരിപ്പാൻ തക്ക വണ്ണം പരിശുദ്ധാൽ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ചാട്ടെ കർത്താവെ ദൈവ ഭയമുള്ളവരായി ആമീൻ ഞങ്ങൾ ഈ ദിവസങ്ങൾ ജീവിപ്പാൻ തക്ക ദൈവാശ്രയമുള്ളവരായി ഓരോരുത്തരും ജീവിപ്പാൻ അങ്ങയുടെ വചനത്തിന് മുന്നിൽ കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ ആ വചനത്തെ ഭയപ്പെടുന്നവരായി ദൈവത്തെ ഭയപ്പെട്ട് ജീവിക്കുന്നവരായി ജീവിപ്പാൻ തക്ക വണ്ണം നിന്റെ വചനപ്രകാരം ഓരോ ദിവസവും ഞങ്ങൾ ജീവിപ്പാൻ തക്ക വണ്ണം തിരുമേനി ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണമെന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾ ദൈവത്തോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ അല്ലേലു നിന്റെ വചനം ജീവനും ചൈതനുള്ള വചനാണ് ആത് വിധുവായിട്ടുള്ള ഏത് വാളിനേക്കാളും ഊർച്ചേറിയ വചനമായിരിക്കാൻ അങ്ങനെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ ആ വചനത്തിന് മുന്നിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം ഞങ്ങളെ സമ്പൂർണമായി താഴ്ത്തുന്ന കർത്താവെ ആ ലേലു അതിന്റെ വചനം ഞങ്ങളുടെ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങളോട് ആ ഞങ്ങൾ ദൈവമേ അത് പറഞ്ഞു കൊടുത്ത അവർക്ക് ദൈവമേ അവരും അത് പ്രകാരം ജീവിക്കുന്നവരായി പന്തക്കോണം പരിശുദ്ധാത്മ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ ദൈവത്തോട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ ദൈവത്തിന് ദിവസം ഞങ്ങൾ ഓരോ കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും ഓരോ വ്യക്തികളെയും അവിടുത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു വിശ്വസ്യാദേവി അവിടുത്തെ വചന സംസാരിച്ച് അതിന്റെ മകന് വേണ്ടി പ്രത്യേകമായി ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവെ കുടുംബമായി സഹായിച്ച ആട്ട കർത്താവെ നിന്റെ വചനത്തെ കർത്താവെ പ്രസായിപ്പാൻ ആധികാരികളോട് സംസാരിപ്പാൻ നിന്റെ ഭക്തൻ എന്റെ മകനെ ബലപ്പെടുത്തി ഓർത്ത് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങൾ സഭയായ നിന്റെ കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ നിന്റെ മകനെ ബല സമർപ്പിച്ച് ലക്ഷണങ്ങൾ കാണുമ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ കർത്താവ് ഞങ്ങളിലേക്ക് നോക്കി ഞങ്ങളെ ക്രമപ്പെടുത്തി ജീവിപ്പാൻ തക്കോണം ഞങ്ങളെ അവരെ സഹായിക്കണം ദൈവത്തോട് തന്നെ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവ് അവിടെ ദാസനെ കുടുംബമായി സമർപ്പിച്ച് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ിയർ <laughs> Now uh, the eternal life church of God is very familiar for me I think I remember them because I think they do belong to some north indian part right yes okay then maybe because of that because I talked to them in hindi that day uh yeah other than that I actually actually I didn't go through the videos yet uh yeah actually the the church name was uh, sacrament of grace church but uh, now we are affiliated to the church of god and uh, our church name is uh, uh, eternal life church of god now yeah yeah because 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 uh, because i am familiar with the sacramento church of god yes. because i came that day with pastor yeah, george yeah. yeah alexander yeah uh, yeah but later on i'm not familiar with any other phase i i i may be just forgive me if i forget your phase but <laughs> because i because i remember his phase because of hindi okay <laughs> we talked to him we yes. talked to him in hindi that's why Yeah. Okay. Thank you pastor. Thank you so Amen. much for inviting me. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, this is the time for uh, uh for the uh, for the Sunday school children for their sharing their uh, memory verses and uh, after that uh, if anybody is having any testimony or uh, 
uh, special uh, prayer requests, or urgent prayer requests, or uh, if you have any any praise report also, you can share with us, and we'll be praying for you all. And this is the time for the kids uh, for the memory verse. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of refuge. To be to me a rock of refuge to which I continually come. For you have given the command to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Sam 71. Romans 8. Romans 10. Romans 10 verse 14 to 15. How believed in, and how can you believe without he, believe, in the one? believe in the one you have not heard? And how can you hear without someone preaching to you? And how can you preach without someone? How can you preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how blessed are the feet? Or of those who bring good news. The Lord watches over the you. you. The, Lord is your the Lord is your shade at your right hand. He will the sun, the sun will not oh. harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord watches over you, you from all harm. From all harm. He, will he will watch over your life. life. The Lord will watch. The Lord will watch. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Someone. 21 verse 5 all of you that want to be listen to me all of you that want to be you that want to be saved. Look, look. Think of the rock which you came from, the quarry which you dug. They came to me childless, but I blessed them and gave them children. Their descendants were numerous. I will show mercy to Jerusalem and all who live in her ruins. And though her land is like a desert, I will make it like the garden, the garden, like the garden I planted in Eden. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 51, verses 1 to 3. RP. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. By letting. By letting. Anger. And control you. I'm telling you. Samuel. Put both ways hard for me and graciously teach me love. Um, I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your rules before me. I cling to your testimony to the Lord. Let me not be put to shame. Now run in the way of his commandments. Verse 119, verses 29 to 32. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, 
and with all your strength. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. By wisdom, a house is built through under, and through understanding it is established, and through knowledge the rooms are filled with fair and beautiful things. Proverbs 24, words 3 and 4. By wisdom, a house is built through understanding it is established, and through knowledge. Its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasure. Proverbs 23, words 3 and 4. 24. 24, words 3 and 4. <coughs> what about Eden? Eden is there? Um, second. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians, chapter, Second Corinthians, chapter six, verse seventeen and verse sixteen and seventeen. What agreement is there between the temple of God and the idols? For, for we are. The temple of a living God. For God has said, for God has said, I I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Step out from them. Be separate, touch no unclean thing, and I will receive you. Amen. Oh, Praise God. Okay. Okay. For the for, for time, time for the testimony and praise report and prayer request or something.